Valentine by Leve. Let me make one thing perfectly clear. I don't want to be here. It's far too late for me. It's like 9.15. I'm supposed to be in bed by now. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Tuesday, the perfect day for Valentine's Day. I think we all can agree that every Valentine's Day should be on Tuesday. Let's learn this song. Standard tuning, no capo. The introduction is as follows. Pointer finger, fifth fret on the second string from the top. Ring finger, sixth fret on the third. I said something wrong. Pointer finger, sixth fret on the second string from the top. Ring finger, eighth fret on the third string from the top. Middle finger, seventh fret on the G string, third string from the bottom. Pinky goes somewhere, eighth fret on the second to bottom string, the B string. This is an E flat major seven chord. Get used to it. We're gonna be playing this chord a lot in this song. I'm using finger, you can use a pick, I suppose, but I'm using my fingers because that's what Leve does. I looked up the name to make sure I'm saying it right. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right. You're gonna grab those middle four strings, you're gonna play them. Then using any finger you want, but I use my ring finger. You're gonna play just the B string, but before you play just the B string, pinky moves up to the ninth fret. Then it moves back to the eighth fret, you play it again. Then it goes back to the ninth fret and you play it again. And then this is what needs to happen. We need to go to an E diminished chord. Here's the easiest way to do this. Scoot your scooch your pinky back to the eighth fret. Take your middle finger, go up to the seventh fret on the second string from the top, then pointer finger goes down to the sixth fret on the G string. Basically your middle finger and your pointer finger swapped strings. This is an E diminished chord. It's supposed to sound hideous like this. I mean, it sounds good, but come on. It's an ugly chord. You play that just one time, then you're gonna take this whole shape with your hand and move it one, two, three frets up. We now have a G diminished chord. You're gonna play that. Little diminished trivia thing for you. An E flat, an E diminished chord and a G diminished chord. They're like the same chord, guys. They have, they have the same notes in them. So put that in your hat and wear it. After this, we're gonna go to a little chord that I like to call an F minor seven chord. If you're thinking, gosh, this song has a lot of crazy weird bar type chords that I've never seen before. There's so there's so many more. There's so many more and I'm gonna go so fast because like I said, it's like midnight or something. What did I say? 9.15? I mean, I lied. It's 9.08, but we could... Let's just say it's midnight. The F minor 7 chord is as follows. Point your finger on the 8th fret of the 2nd string from the top. You are going to bar those bottom five strings with your pointer finger, which means you just smash down on all of them. Your middle finger is going to play the ninth fret on the second to bottom string, and your ring finger is going to play the 10th fret on the third string from the top. And we're gonna play the middle four strings. Then your pinky is gonna go to the 11th fret on the B string. See that? You're gonna use your, I'm using my ring finger, you're gonna play the B string with your pinky there. Then get rid of your pinky. Then put your pinky back. So that was this. And then one more crazy chord for the intro. That's right, it's a B flat 13. Well, also with a nine. Look, pointer finger, sixth fret on the top string. Next string is muted by your pointer finger. Your middle finger plays the sixth fret on the third string from the top. Ring finger plays the seventh fret on the third string from the bottom. Then your pinky, your tiny little baby little pinky is gonna play the eighth fret on the bottom two strings. Dude, I like to do this nice, gentle, like, we get to hear each note. That's our intro. Let me play the whole intro for you. Can I do it? Whoa! I blew that. Hey! That's the intro to Valentine by Leve. I'm just excited because I know how to say the name, so I'm saying it as many times as possible. Now we get to the first section of the song. It goes like this. Let me play it. Let me pull let me let me let me play it for you once. Look, it goes. Let's do it. 
Let's let's learn this. Look, E flat major seven chord. We already did it. E flat major seven. I already told you about it. I'll tell you one more time. This is the last time. Pointer finger plays six on the second string from the top. Ring finger plays eight on the third string from the top. Middle finger, seventh fret on the third string from the bottom. Pinky, eighth fret on the second string from the bottom. Now let us learn the picking pattern for this song. Thumb plays the A string, second string from the top. Pointer finger plays the D string, third string from the top. Then your the these two fingers, middle and ring finger, are gonna play the G string and the B string, not the bottom string, but the two strings right above it, just plays it together like that. So we go, see that one, thumb, pointer, other, how do I get the best angle? Other two fingers, then just go right back to your pointer finger on the D string. So we go. You might wanna practice that a little. Here, I'll tell you what, get your E flat major seven chord ready. Let's practice this together, not a ton, just four times, nice and slow. We're gonna go boom, keep bang, E one, two, here we go. Two, three, four. Have I mentioned that I'm ready for bed? We're only gonna do that picking pattern once on the E flat. Then we go to a B flat seven, flat 13 chord. Pointer finger, sixth fret up on the top string. Nothing, just muted next string. Middle finger plays the sixth fret on the D string. Ring finger plays the seventh fret on the G string, third string from the bottom. Now, it seems like we're just gonna go back to that chord we were playing a second ago, but we're not. Pinky is going to play the seventh fret on the second string from the bottom. So we've got six, nothing, six, seven, seven. For the picking pattern now, because we're pushing on the top string over here, your thumb, instead of playing the A string, your thumb is gonna play the E string, the top string. So our picking pattern goes like this. So these fingers are doing the exact same thing. We just relocated our thumb up to the top string. So if I play the E flat and then that B flat seven chord, it goes. And then we just do those same two chords again. Great, look at that, we're halfway there. Not even close to halfway there. Back to the E flat major seven chord. And then we go like this. All right, all right, it's not too bad. G minor seven chord, pointer finger plays the 10th fret on the second string from the top. Ring finger plays 12 on the third string from the top. Your pointer finger needs to not just play that 10th fret, but it needs to smash down on everything. And then your middle finger plays the uh, 11th fret on the second string from the bottom. Go ahead and play all four of the middle four strings together, all four of the middle four. This is our G minor seven. Then we're gonna go to a G flat minor seven. You take this exact same shape with your hands, slide it over one fret, play it again. Then you're gonna slide it one more fret and play that again. Now we have an F minor seven chord. When we get to this F minor seven chord, let's see. We're gonna go back to our other picking pattern. And then we go to a B flat seven. In this situation, it is not a B flat seven flat 13, it's just a B flat 13. So that means we've got six on top, nothing on the next string, middle finger plays six on the D string, ring finger plays seven on the G string, and then pinky plays eight on the B string. I, this is the part of the video where I feel like I'm just listing endless chords and notes. Let's play what we have of this first section once all together and then we'll and then we'll just we're just gonna blast through the rest of it all right here we go so starting not from the intro but from the e flat this part where the singing starts one two here we go at home boom walkity boom uh Going. Is it going great? Then we go to a G minor seven. We played that earlier. That was the one where it was 10th fret on the second string from the top. Bar everything there. Ring finger plays 12 on the D string. Middle finger plays 11 on the B string. The second to bottom string. You're gonna go back to the regular picking. And then we play a C7 flat 13. That's gonna be eighth fret on top with the pointer finger. Skip the next string. Middle finger plays Eighth fret on the third string from the top. Ring finger plays ninth fret on the third string from the bottom. Pinky plays ninth fret 
on the second string from the bottom. This is a C7 flat 13. What you probably are noticing at this point in time, along our journey, our adventure of learning this Valentine song, is you are learning that we are using repeated shapes in different spots in the guitar. We're playing some jazz chord shapes, some some seventh chords, some thirteens, some nines, all kinds of numbers. And you know, you're gonna get used to these shapes, you're even gonna recognize the names of them, and it's gonna be easier and easier to play this sort of thing. That was helpful, right? A little pep talk, a little Valentine's Day pep talk. Or Valentine's Day, as I think most people say Valentine's Day when they're kids, right? Did you, did you say, did you used to call it Valentine's Day? Leave your answer in the comments down below. Oh, also my name's Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with, with me. So we just went like this. Okay, then we go to an F minor seven. Do you remember that one? This is the one on the eighth fret. I'm just gonna let you look at it. This, my pointer finger's on the eighth fret. I'm not gonna go through it note by note. I'm gonna let you figure that out. Regular picking pattern. Then we go back to the C7 flat 13. That was this one, the one we just did a moment ago. See it? I'm on the eighth fret right here. Give that one a try. See if you can do it without me telling you all the notes. Great. Then we go back to the F minor seven, the one we just did. See it? And this one, we're just gonna play it all together once. We just go bam, and then there's some singing. It goes ka bonky banky, and then this is one of the most exciting parts of the song, we go. B flat, seven, 13. Six, nothing, six, seven, eight. We've played this chord already. Check out this picking. We're gonna go thumb and then each finger one at a time and then go back the other. Oh! Go back the other way. We're gonna go. See that? That was bad because I mortally wounded my finger just a moment ago. Then you're gonna slide your pinky over. What chord is this? That's right, B flat seven, flat 13. We are now done with the first section of the song. We're never gonna get through it. We're never gonna do it. We're never gonna do it. We're gonna be halfway through Valentine's Day by the time I'm done with this tutorial. <sighs> that was the first A section, was what I'm gonna call that. Now it's time for the second A section. Almost the same as the first one, but of course it's not exactly the same, because that would be too easy. Starts off exactly the same. We go E flat major seven, B flat seven flat 13, back to the E flat, back to the B flat seven flat 13, back to the E flat. Aha! This is where things get interesting. G7 flat 13, the same, that same flat 13 shape. Pointer finger on three, skip the next string, three on the third string from the top, four on the third string from the bottom, four on the second string from the bottom, our regular picking pattern. Okay, now we are going to learn a brand new chord shape, an A flat major seven chord shape. Pointer finger, fourth fret on the top string, skip the second string from the top, ring finger plays five on the third string from the top, pinky plays five on the third string from the bottom, middle finger plays four on the second string from the bottom, A flat major seven, same picking pattern. Oh, goodness gracious. B flat 13, look at it. You've played it before. I'm on the sixth fret right here. Look at that, look at that one. You know that one, you can do it. You know it, B flat seven, flat 13, whatever, whatever you wanna call it. Here's what we have so far for the second A section. We have boom, boom, ka, go, boom, ka, go, go, banky, banky, bow. Whoop, boo, da, bo, binky, bow, de, binky, banky, boonky, bow. We're doing great. We're doing great. Look, G minor seven. This is gonna be 10 up on the second string from the top. We've played this chord shape, but it's been a little while, so I'm gonna walk you through it. 10 on the second from the top. 12 on the third from the top, bar everything with your pointer finger on the 10th fret, middle finger plays 11 on the second to bottom string. Okay, from there. C7 flat 13, we've done it. Eight, nothing, eight, nine, nine. Oh. Then we go to F minor seven. We've done that one a zillion times. I'm on the eighth fret, I'm doing this minor seven shape, you see it? Back to the C7 flat 13. We just did it a second ago. And then this is the coolest part of the song. 
There are two ways we can do this. The way that she does it live is she goes like this. Look, pointer finger, I'm on one, then I skip the second string, then one, one, one. So I'm just on one all across the board. I'm gonna go boom. Move up to the third fret, boom. Move up to the fourth fret, boom. Move up to the fifth fret, boom. And then I go to a B flat 13 chord. So that was a boom, boom, boom. So that way is much easier. It sounds really cool. My suspicion is she does it this way live because she knows she's going to get it right every single time and it sounds great. We're just going first fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret. But what I believe is happening in the actual recording when I listen to it, first chord is the same, second chord is the same, the next one is that A flat major seven chord we did earlier. And then the next one is an A diminished chord. We did an E diminished chord earlier, but not an A diminished chord. Fifth fret with the middle finger up on the top. Second string from the top is muted. Pointer finger plays four on the third string from the top. And it smashes down onto the next three strings on the fourth fret. And then ring finger plays fifth fret on the G string, the third string from the bottom. A diminished chord. So you can take your choice. If, whether you want to go take your pick, take your choice. Choice your choice your pick, you guys. You can either go a uh, shrinky banky bonky banky bow. Or you can go shrinky banky binky banky bow. I mean, that way sounds a little bit cooler, but I'm gonna leave it up to you. We get up to the B flat seven, and then we go to E flat major seven, e, e flat major seven. That's what she thinks. Uh, something happened then I had a Valentine's Day song on YouTube for you. I mean, I added that part at the end. Oh my gosh, we're still not done. So here's what happens. After we play those two sections, we just played two sections that were similar, but not exactly the same. After we do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play through the whole first section again, but instead of going like that, we're just gonna go literally the exact same chords, but instead of doing the picking, I'm just, for every chord, I'm just plucking all four strings dos times. Spanish for two. Surprised you didn't know that. Mi amor. That's Italian. That's Italian. You ever guys seen, uh, you, got, you guys ever, you ever guys seen Lady and the Tramp? That's a romantic movie. Shrinky panky bookie do go away. A sweet shrunky shrunky panky punky boo A string shrinky wonky wonky winky panky woo A swinky doom poke up booty and go up bop bop bow Something like that. Then we go to a brand new section. I'm gonna call it the B section. Unfortunately, it's completely different from the other sections. Fortunately, it's not too long, not too difficult. I think it's all chords we know. Almost all chords we know. Look, first chord, F minor seven. You're just gonna go shrinky, banky, binky, bow. Yeah, it's the F minor seven. You know this one. Then we go to the B flat 13. You know this one too. Shrinky, banky, bow. Back up to the F minor seven. Shrinky, banky, dunky, bow. Back to the B flat 13. Blinky, blanky, blow. Great, fantastic, amazing. You're doing great. G minor 7. You know this one too. It's the one on the 10th fret. Blinky, blanky, blinky, blank. C7. Let's do a flat 13. I don't know if it's flat 13 or not, but that means we've got 8. Skip. 8. 9. 9. Oh, then this part's great. F minor 7. And then F minor seven flat five. Here's how you make an F minor seven flat five chord. You have your F minor chord, which of course, as you know, is eight, 10, eight, nine. Take your ring finger, scooch it over to the ninth fret. You can just rearrange your fingers. Like you don't have to scooch that one over, but I'm just gonna scooch it over. So go blank, 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 blank. You hear that? Oh, so dramatic. The drama in the chord is gut melting. 
I think we're doing great. I think we're doing great. At this point in time, oh, we play the whole first section of the song again. So we go, we go back to the original picking and we play the whole first A section of the song. All that stuff, it was great. I remember when we played it so long ago at the beginning of this lesson, it was so good. We play through that whole section and there's one more section. We're almost done, I promise. I wrote this part down because I, I knew I was gonna forget it. Oh my golly, gee whiz. Are you ready? We're just gonna race through it. E flat major seven, B flat seven flat 13. E flat major seven, B flat seven flat 13. Then G minor seven, C7 flat 13, F minor 7, F minor 7 flat 5 again, and then we go back to G minor 7, back to C7 flat 13, then we go back to, oh, oh, then we do this thing again. Bonky, 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 bang, or bonky, bonky, binky, banky, valen. Time, oh yeah. Oh, I get to go to bed. You get to have the best Valentine's Day celebration of your entire life, perfect time to take a sip of water. Will you be my Valentine? Oh, but what if you're watching this on a day that is not Valentine's Day? Next year, you guys have plenty of time to get ready for next Valentine's Day. Buy a box of chocolates for everyone in your house. Buy flowers for everyone. It's too late for this.